Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can point a domain name to a remote server or a local server, okay? So in my case, uh, most hosting providers right now uses cPanel for easier uh, management of your web services. And right now, I have my cPanel. I've already logged in here. And the concept here is I'm running a web service here with this IP address 180.191.32.52. Uh, it is basically an open source capture the flag um, challenge system, okay? So uh, if I want uh, the users to interact with this website, I'm going to give this IP address. But what if we don't want that one to happen? What if, um, because this, this platform is basically um, running locally into my network and I want other people use a domain name typing ctf.kcp.education, something like that. So for me, I got this one from Fast Comet, and we have been using this one for a long time. Um, it depends on uh, what platform you're, uh, what hosting provider you're going, you bought your domain name. But once you have the cPanel dashboard, it's basically the widely used uh, hosting panel uh, that is available for everybody. Okay, so there are others, but the configuration will not vary. Once you log into your cPanel, guys, you go for domains. Okay. So once you go to domains, um, this is our, these are the available domains you have. And um, if it doesn't exist here, whatever domain you have, you can create based on your existing domain, okay? You can create subdomains as, uh, for example, this one, cit.kcp.edu.ph. The, um, the main link or the main domain is kcp.edu.ph. The subdomain is the CIT. So you can see it here. I have created a sample ctf.kcp.edu, uh, kcp. Uh, what do you call this one? Edu.ph, right? And I have another main parent domain here, which is basically kcp.education. So I can create multiple subdomains, and you can go ahead and create it here. Create subdomain, and then you can type it here. Uh, I want to do ctf that kcp that education so i've already created this one earlier because i have to try it that it's working right and once you create that one you go ahead and submit so for the sake of this video i'll just uh, uh type in uh challenge challenge uh that kcp that edu that ph okay so i'm going to submit this one and this challenge that kcp that edu that ph should appear here so um there you go challenge.kcp.education. So for now, if you go ahead and visit this one, it's basically vacant. Sorry, something like that. All right? So it's not available. And it will create a directory into your uh, server right away. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I went inside the domain section, I want to go back, back, back. And then I want to go to zone editor. You can see the zone editor here. I'm going to click zone editor. And uh, you can see that uh, I have two main domains, the kcp.edu.ph and kcp.education. So where I created my uh, subdomain is on kcp.education. So this is where I'm going in. I don't need to go there, this one. So I'm just going to go here, right? Manage. Once you get into manage here, you need to go and find the um, challenge.kcp.education, uh, right? So basically, uh, all of the mailbox, all those kinds of things are here. So what I'm going to do is just click on this A so that it's going to filter everything that's under A. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, scroll down here and look for the challenge. Um, that KCP, that education. So challenge C, 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 C. We have a lot of C here. I created this one earlier. And... This one, you can see there, challenge.kcp.education, ch uh, www. So basically, I want to change the IP address of this one because this IP address is the same hosting provider that I'm using. So whenever I go here, I go and visit this one, it's basically vacant, okay? Now, what I want to do is this is my locally hosted server here, right? Or maybe this could be a, a server, VPS server, a dedicated server that you are paying from Linode, Droplets, uh, Blow Ocean, um, Amazon. You can do this one as well if you did not buy the same domain from them. So basically, you need to go and find that IP address of that server you're using, and that's what you're going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one. 
go there, go to Zone Editor, look for the challenge, case, uh, the challenge that KCP that education. I'm just go ahead and edit this one. I'm just going to paste this one. Oops, you must specify IP address, so I'll remove that, remove that, and edit this one as well. www. Okay, so I'm just going to put this Control C and then Control V, and then save. And then, oops, I think the other one is not saved. Okay, saved also. So it refresh, it should be down here. You can see it here, 180, that 191, the 32, that 52, which is this one. So we refresh this one, that's it. Now, uh, at some point, depending on how it's going to propagate, it would be effective immediately or it will take time, right? So what I'm going to do, let's just try. Okay, this is running. Okay, this is the CTF. I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to type in challenge.kcp.education okay challenge okay it's not yet propagated do we go ahead and refresh 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 how about the other one let's try the w because we have play, changed to so some people would normally type w but, but this is was the old way of searching in the internet so i'll just go ahead i think this will load up because it's scrolling down there there you go so we have the cdf here it's set to the default one you can toggle this one for dark mode and i you know um light mode so as you can see it here the same uh, just compare the scoreboard because i think there's okay this is the same you can see top 10 users i have gg user here if i go here in scoreboard also it's the same it's pointing to the same web website right so what i'm going to do since we changed to is this uh, i place w i can also open and you remember that even if the user is going to type only this one uh without the w it should show up so i need to go ahead and enter okay i think it's taking time it's the same there you go refresh okay so we have the same kind of website so that's how easy it is to point so that's it guys uh if you have learned something from this video don't forget to click that like button share this one to the people who needs it and see you in my next video guys